Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. My name is Ron Ippolito. I am the president-elect of CATA, the California Association of Directors of Activities. This year, we're hosting our first ever virtual convention, and it's going to take place during the first week of March. And I'm so excited to invite you to join us to present at Pecha Kucha Night at CATA 2021. We're going to be holding it on Thursday, March 4th, and what we're calling uh, part of our Arts, Crafts, and Culture Night. So you may be wondering, what is Pecha Kucha? It's actually supposed to be pronounced Pachakacha. I just learned that recently, which is Japanese for chit chat. Uh, basically, it's a presentation format where you have 20 slides, and you can only speak 20 seconds per slide, just like I'm doing and practicing right now. It's a challenging format. Uh, the uh, person who connected me to you is this gentleman right here, Scott Bakovich. He's a friend of mine. I've known him through CATA for a very long time. Here he is getting an award. He's going to be awarded at this, this year's CATA, and I'm super excited. He's also going to be our host for the evening for Pecha Kucha Night uh, on Thursday, March 4th. So, uh, so grateful to Scott for that. Wanted to take a few moments to talk about some positive things that have come out of the pan pandemic for me and for my family. This is my family right here. There's my daughter, Libby. She just turned 14 years old uh, last month. My wife, uh, Heather, we have been married for, it's going to be 18 years this year uh, in December, and that was me over there on the right. One of the great things that's come out of it is my wife is such an amazing cook. Uh, she has been cooking such a variety of different things. There's a little uh, Korean beef up in the upper left-hand corner. This is a tater tot breakfast pizza, which was absolutely delicious. Everything's better with bacon. Oh my gosh, so good. Uh, so such great cooking. One of the things I've been doing to help work off some of those calories is I've been walking so much more. I've been getting outside, getting fresh air. It's so good for not only your physical health, but mental health. Uh, on the left, there's me walking in Stockton. That's where my in-laws live. Uh, we've been very safely uh, going up and just our bubble is very small, going to visit my wife's uh, parents in Stockton. And over on the left was me walking in our home of Santa Clarita. There we are in our home right there of Santa Clarita. We've been doing a lot of fun things um, to like together. Our bubble has mostly just been the three of us doing theme days and theme weeks. Uh, we did Eat Around Epcot where my wife cooked different foods from all over the different countries in Epcot, uh, the, the Disney Park in Florida. Uh, we did 30 days of movies there. That was our, Those were our Halloween costumes from the Emperor's New Groove. My wife and I also celebrated our 29th anniversary of our first date, the Homecoming Dance, October 26, 1991. Uh, a funny story about uh, our time at Denny's that was after the homecoming dance. So we got some takeout from Denny's and brought it back home. And uh, we get to celebrate our 29th anniversary of our first date. Another really positive thing to come out of the pandemic is the relationship that I have gained with my student leaders. I was at first a little fearful of the challenge that this was going to present working with student leaders in a pandemic. But that's my video production class, my Rio TV crew, and they're amazing. Speaking of TV... Uh, my family and I, we've been watching a lot of great TV, uh, a lot of it on Disney Plus and Netflix. This, of course, is WandaVision. We tune in every single Friday to watch WandaVision. Uh, we're total, especially my daughter and I, we're total fans of the Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and just super excited about that. Another thing that we're big fans of in my family is the Star Wars franchise. So we've seen all of the movies. Haven't yet seen Clone Wars and some of those things yet, but uh, excited to maybe get into those a little bit later on, but we've totally gotten into The Mandalorian. Uh, I, I keep telling everybody, it's just like a Western, but it's like a Western set in space. So really been enjoying that. Another thing, a show that we never watched when it was first broadcast uh, back a few years ago, but a, total, a show that we've totally gotten into now is The Office. Uh, amazing characters, outrageous uh, situations. My daughter loves The Office so much, she dressed up as Dwight Schrute for her 14th birthday, so you could see her right there, and we had a, a whole Office-themed birthday party. Another thing we've been doing in quarantine uh, to entertain ourselves is we've been playing Jackbox games. So with Jackbox games, you can either play just, you know, we just played just a few minutes ago with my wife and my daughter and I, or you can also play on Zoom. But Jackbox games have been a ton of fun, and you can turn on family-friendly mode with a lot of games, so it's fun for the whole family for all ages. Another thing that, I've, that has come out of quarantine is I have sent more mail, more cards and letters to family and friends than I ever did <laughs> in my entire life before quarantine. So, uh, but not only sending uh, mail, like you can see on the left and right, but in the middle, receiving cards and letters as well. It has been so nice to connect in that very like old fashioned way, but also it's just nice to write those cards and letters. Another uh, good thing, I, I guess, opportunities for service as well. Here's me. I uh, I got to donate platelets for the first time. It takes almost three hours to donate platelets. It's kind of a crazy process. But I did get to uh, watch the first few episodes of Cobra Kai uh, and got introduced to that for the first time. 
another amazing thing that has come out of quarantine. We have got to connect, uh, had a chance to connect with family and friends from all over the country. This is when we celebrated my daughter's 14th birthday. There you can see up there, she's dressed as Dwight Schrute. And this is family from everywhere, from near and far here in Southern California and family out on the East Coast. And so that's been so much fun. Speaking of fun, uh, we would typically go to the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood to see Disney movies, Marvel movies, Star Wars movies. Can't go to the movie theater right now. But what we can do, uh, El Cap hosted a trivia night uh, around Halloween time. And so we played that and then their platform I got inspired, and so we've been playing using that trivia platform to play Mixtape Trivia Tuesdays with our Cata friends. Speaking of Cata friends and other people in the world of student activities, one of the conferences that I got to attend in quarantine was the National Conference on Student Activities. The cool thing is you can attend conferences without leaving the comfort of your own home. So what a great community that is to connect with people who do the same things that we do in Cata, but all over the country. Uh, speaking of CATA, these are my CATA friends. This is uh, the CATA Board of Directors, and we've gotten to connect. Although we normally love to get together in person, we've gotten to connect over Zoom as well, not only for meetings, but just for social time and for connecting. And it's a great group of people. They're really dedicated to making life better for our students and our schools. So I want to say thank you so much for listening. This is how long it takes, six minutes and 40 seconds. We'd love to have you join us on Thursday, March 4th, 745 to 9 p.m. for our first ever CATA Pecha Kucha Talk. I hope you can join us. Thank you for considering. And thank you so much for watching this presentation. Have a great day.